there for fruit farming. So I don't know whether you cannot do fruit farming also in Kenya. I thought there is a lot of land in the Rift Valley where you can do fruit farming. And thirdly, he said he's taking investors to Uganda. A whole deputy president taking away investors from his country, <laughs> taking them to Uganda for investment. And he has been telling us that bottom up, I want to bring bottom up here. I want to bring investors here. I want to bring, I want to do youth employment. I want to alleviate problems of the youth. And you are taking the investors who are supposed to employ Kenyans here to Uganda, surely. And you are the deputy president and you want to become the president of Kenya. Now we have seen your true colors. All these things you are talking about, bottom up, bottom down, bottom chini, bottom katkati is lies. So please, uh, the Daktari, William Ruto, come clean on your relationship with, NRA, with NRM. This is a, that's a party that has kept someone in, in the presidency for three decades. So are you planning to stay also for three decades as a president in Kenya when you win? Thank you so much. Honorable Mbadi, Chairman. Uh, yes. Karim. Uh, no, you will say that. Um, Uganda development agenda. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think Junet has said it all, but let me just maybe put into perspective two issues. Ruto's Dalian's relationship near marriage with Yoeri Museveni has nothing to do with winning 2022 elections. It has all to do with the disrupting the peace in this country immediately after 2022 elections. Every right thinking person knows that NRM has never won any competitive democratic election. Museveni has never won any democratic election. What Museveni knows is how to destabilize, how to grab power by force. And so Ruto cannot claim to go to Uganda to learn on issues of how to win elections. He's going to Uganda, we very well know that he has already given up. He knows he's not going to win presidency and therefore he's going to learn tendencies on how to disrupt election, I mean to disrupt peace in this country after 2022 election. You hear him even the president of Uganda should respect this country and know that we are not interested in importing his dictatorial tendencies that he has been uh, exhibiting in Uganda. This is a democratic nation, a country that is guided by the rule of law and that which has been nurtured for a very long time. I want to conclude by saying that what Junet has said makes a lot of sense. If you are the deputy president of a country, how on earth would you claim to be taking investors to another nation, to another state? That is completely a sign of lack of patriotism for the nation. And by the way, let me put it also very in perspective, that this dalliance with Yoeri Museveni is not a coincidence. Ruto started by radicalizing our youths in this country. He has been on a mission to radicalize roots youths in this country incite them by creating class society so that when he loses elections he finds people who are vulnerable to be used the same way Museveni used those who were desperate in Uganda at that time to topple a government that was in place and to re lead forever and to lead for life and so what should come out of this co press conference as Junet put it we are not bothered with whether Ruto was cleared or not. We are bothered with his relationship with Uganda and we are bothered with what he's going to do in Uganda. To destabilize, we are interested in the peace of this country. And as leaders of this country, we don't want any sign of a leader who is demonstrating signs of this, causing the instability in this country. We all know what we have seen previously where people are incited to evict others from their own farms and killing people. We don't want to see that after 2022. And we are not going to allow an individual, even if you are the deputy president of the nation, to do it. Thank you. Any question? We don't want gorilla wars in Kenya. Mm. We don't want gorilla wars in Kenya. Yes. Please. We know how NRM came to power. We don't want gorilla war in Kenya. Please. Uganda development agenda. And now we have discovered UDA, the party that <laughs> he has formed, yes. is called UDA, but its real meaning is Uganda Development Agenda. Yes. 
UDA. It's Uganda Development Agenda. It's an agenda to develop Uganda, that's all. They are not, they are not interested in developing Kenya. Yes. Uganda Development Agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.